All right, so welcome to another video of the Target Individual Program Target Individual Experience. Just left the house, heading off a bike camp. Uh, uh, she had to go grocery shopping today, so uh, watching the kids for her. And then uh, Ethan has a bunch of exams. He has a bunch of exams tomorrow. Oh, it's windy out here. So I'm going to uh, spend the night. Okay. And uh, so let's see. So it's been very, very quiet so far. All right, got up this morning. Absolutely no sirens, nothing. Okay. I spoke to uh, my ex. I called me, and not Pam. This is a ex I have from in my twenties, early twenties, and. Uh, I guess who recently got in contact with me. And you know, we're just friends though. We just, you know, we talk and stuff like that. And you know, she understands what's going on. So I appreciate her for actually giving me the benefit of the doubt. Right? So, you know, um, like I said, so it's been very, very quiet this morning. Okay? Very, very quiet. And uh, so we'll see what's going on. I know now, you know, usually from their behavior and what they do is that uh, they'll probably use more teenager, teenagers to target me now, okay, because that's their pattern, right? So when I take out my phone now, you see the adults start running away or they cross the street, you know, and uh, They'll get more uh, teenagers, young people, to uh, start targeting me, right? So, again, you know, just observing the things that they're doing, right? And uh, how they do things. So, that's what you see right now. Okay? And look. Uh, see these, these young kids, see? Uh huh. Got my phone out, so now they're running. See? Told you. The young kids that was playing around there by the car. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So I guess as I mentioned, the young kids, they ran away, and then uh, this adult male here targeted me. So you see, they, they adjust their shit on the fly because of the remote node monitoring, and they try to counter what I do as I try to counter what they do. Okay? And once you see about the buster, who just pulls up at the bus stop? All right, look. Who just pulls up at the bus stop? All right? Look at that. But the good old NYPD. Okay, see that? Yes. The good old NYPD. Ah, hi there. Yes, I'll see you. Goodbye. 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 Oh, she's looking at my feet. <laughs> at my shoes. <laughs> Goodbye. She's looking at my shoes. So what, what shoes I'm wearing. So you guys can see. I see drive by looking at my shoes. Okay? Yes, let's check out the license plate. 3629. Alright, what precinct? 71st precinct. Of course, that's the Jewish precinct. You know, all the majority of police officers there are either Jewish or white. So, you start to see the, uh, you know, the slave master's puppet. Right, so there you go. I tell you, it never fails, right? Because I go my Pam, and uh, since yesterday she lost, uh, called her last night, she got an attitude. And I was like, okay, well, you know, I just uh, I said to her, I just called to say goodnight, that's all. Because she was on the phone for quite a long time. And when I call her, she bust number 6032. There we go again, number 32 again, incorporated. Right, so you know, I call her around like 12 to say goodnight. 
she got upset. And I'm like, okay. I said, I just called to say goodnight. That's all. All right, got off the bus. I see this woman green back crossing the street. <laughs> she got off the bus in front of me. Started doing the palm fixation drill. Yeah. Put her hands down her back. Put her palm facing towards me. And her fingers spread out. All right? So, again, right? I should tell you that, you know, you expose them, they don't stop, right? They come at you in another way. Okay? So, yeah, put your mask on, buddy. <laughs> He got his mask off, coming to us, he's keeping me at the phone, he put his mask on. Yeah. license plate on the car they've been talking because Pam parents live in Texas right so you're like well she's moving to Texas and you know that's the reason and blah 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 and such and such and like the same shit they used to try to do with me with Desden because you know she had relatives in Florida so they used to use uh, vehicles with um, Florida license plates you know trying to send me some similar messages about she's gonna take Bryce and leave to go to Florida I mean if Pam moved to Texas that's fine I have no problem with that you know what I'm saying I have, uh, trust me, I have no problem with that, you know, I love my kids, you know, the only thing is that, you know, we got to set up some type of visitation where, you know, during the summer, they come up and stay with me for the summer, that's all. So, like I said, I have, and I said the same thing with when they were trying to send me some women messing with Desmond. I have no problem with that, okay? Uh, you hear the, hear the police sirens? <laughs> you, hear the, you hear the sirens? Right? So, again... You know, because it's a narrative that they want to shape that I'm gonna get all angry and upset and blah 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 and run and go to court and this and that. The only reason why I took my first son mother to court was because she sent him out the country. See, look, 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 that's it. Because she sent him out the country. Yeah, yeah, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Look at him, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. Only because, like I said, she sent him out the country, did not tell me for a whole month, okay? And you know, I was under so much stress because of it because I didn't know where my son was, right? And you know, that's what led to me going through a depression. And um, but it was all strategically done to for them to do this to me, okay? And that was it because she was bragged about how she has a cousin that's a DA in in the Bronx, and so you know, that's 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 how they manipulated shit and manipulated her, manipulated my emotions, and particularly while I was going through a depression. You know to do this to me and a lot of the people who i knew during that time were all part of it okay there were a lot of honey traps that they tried to set before me okay and uh, of course I, I didn't know what was going on you know and then this is what they're trying to do now but it's not working and they're upset they're mad that it's not working you know because they because of their false narrative right that's what it was because of their because of their false narrative so there you go Right? Right? Because of their false narrative. Just remember, when they want to attack someone, they're going to do whatever they can. You know, uh, watching Dr. Boris walking, and he was like, white people and white men, particularly, you know, when you are a strong black man, 
uh, alpha male, black man. I don't think I'm an alpha male, black man, but I'm, you know, when it comes to certain things, you know, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm strong on my belief. And, you know, not that it can't be changed, but you got to prove to me that with facts and evidence, right? Not fake, face-based belief shit. I believe this, whatever, whatever. Give me the facts and then you can hear my mind. But, um, but yeah, but, you know, again, this is the shit that they, that they try to do, right? Uh, you know, to manipulate your emotions. And once you get to understand that, and they see that they can't manipulate, emotion, manipulate your emotions anymore, what do they do? They go to the extremist and they gotta destroy your name, destroy your character in the court of public opinion, right? For shit that they've done, that they did to you, and, to, and to the people around you, you know? So, like I said, it ain't nothing, it ain't nothing new. I'm wiser, smarter, because I understand. I studied their tactics, and I realized what was being done. But no matter how they try to make me believe otherwise, the reason the reason why they are... And of course they're going to try to get rid of me, because, you know, I, I know now. <laughs> you know, I know. So they, they, this is one person that they can't fool. So they're going to try to get rid of me in any which way they can, because that's, that's what it is. You know? I'm a thorn in their side. You know, I expose them for who they are and, and show people the truth, and they don't like that. So what do you have to do? You have to remove that individual, uh, those individuals, out of the equation, right? If you want to keep on brainwashing people and keep them in a state of, of uh, sleep, right? And for any one of us who try to awaken people and make it, make, sure, make them open up their eyes, their mind, to the truth, they don't like that. They don't like that. And uh, you know, I wish when I was younger. Um, you know, I was reading books like, um, you know, Dr. Amos Wilson by Dr. Amos Wilson by Dr. John Henry Clark, you know, by Joseph, Joseph Ben Jackman, by a whole list of other people, you know, Chancellor Williams, you know, and I mean, it's, 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 it's ridiculous, right? Uh, you know, like, uh, Dr. Francis Cresswell, uh, uh, Wilson, right? I mean, these people were doing extraordinary work for black people, and black people were conditioned and brainwashed to ignore them. Okay, while they're buying these books by these white, you know, self-help authors, and you know, these uh, uh, financial authors we were buying up their books in the millions making them rich meanwhile we had our own people our own you know historians psychologists oh, i should look over here i should look over here because the, the car had the um <laughs> the license plate the, the triple six so she turned around and looked she looked at me but she tried to be slick as if she's uh looking over there like i said i know the tactics it's really like i said religious based and this is how they have fucked up the minds of black people this is how they have fucked up the minds of black people, right? And they know that, you know, and I know why. You know, cause it is the awakening, it is the awakening that we as black people, that they are afraid of, the awakening of our ancestors within our DNA. This is the ultimate goal of what they're afraid of. This is why they want to start also collecting the DNA of children also. And who do you think most of these DNA are going to be collected? Going to be from whom? From black people. We are the majority of uh, who are in prison, whether it be black men or black women. And trust me, they have all of our DNA. Okay. So, you know, you black people go ahead with this nonsense and this foolishness. You know, there's a saying that said, "My people are destroyed for a lack of understanding and self-knowledge." Uh, you know, I'm just paraphrasing that. You know, it may not be exactly how it goes. But uh, this is what happens. This is what's happened. And these people will kill you, these black people. They will kill you for trying to wake them up. They will poison you, set you up, along with these white supremacists. Okay? And a big part of why they're able to do that is because we are, and we are indoctrinated with their belief system. And when you read their Bible, the shit is like, if, if you don't start, if you're not shocked or laughing, <laughs> you know, or or uh, saying what the fuck then something that's been sure that showed that you have been thoroughly brainwashed and indoctrinated with that bullshit all right so the bus is taking man long to come 
I'm going to skin, you know, my hands are like freezing out here, so I'm going to put this phone away and, um, you know, I'll continue uh, later, okay? Alright, so just got off the bus and look who's up there making a the U turn with the NYPD, right? <laughs> NYPD. Again, you see, how I talk about, and I can teach to show this stuff, right? How they do stuff strategically, right? They wait till the bus is passing, because I saw them walking, getting in the bus. And they could have turned anytime, but, uh, you know, they, they wait until the bus stops and I get off the bus for them to start making their U turn. And this is what they used to do with me all the time. They used to make have like white cars driving, making a U turn in front of me all the time so you know just just showing the tactics over and over again you know sometimes it may take a while because sometimes when I begin to expose them you know they try not to show a pattern of harassment okay so by uh, doing these things uh, like not so closely together as they used to right then what that does is that it detracts from their claim or the the idea that they're harassing, right? And so, again, you see, because when you see constant police activity, there is a police car getting stand up over here by the bus stop. So, it's, you know, going to the bank, that's why, so they know that. Okay. So, yep. This is what happens here. Yeah. Look at me, look at the police car. Fuck you, and the police car. He's got his jacket turned to his side. The American flag on it. <laughs> Again, using these tactics, right? So when we talk about who is the one that gave the Nazis the idea of exterminating Jewish people, if you look at through history, for those of you who don't know history and don't do enough research besides believe what the media tells you, it was the Americans. And these same people are using the same tactics used today. Alright, they're trying to exterminate us in different ways. And uh, again, I wish I could record this shit, but I was getting milk and bread uh, for the kids that don't have any milk and bread at the at her house. So, so let me pick some up uh, just in case she changed their mind about going grocery shopping. But anyway, so I'm in there. Everybody come in there, you try to stand in my way, and then move on and then say sorry. You know, I mean, this is the shit that they do all the time, right? <laughs> they do this shit all the time, right? After they're talking me so heavily, and, uh, you know, they'll come back with this sorry BS bullshit. But again, it's like the abuser, right? It's like the abuser who keep abusing someone, or uh, the bully, and uh, the, uh, the domestic abuser who will hit their women, or... Uh, hit their men and then turn around and say sorry and then two days later they come back and do the same shit right come on dude like seriously look at this look at this guy dude there's no parking and she got the New Jersey plate right there's no parking you can't park in this block right here okay yeah so anyway as I was saying yeah, so this is what they do. This is exactly what they do. They'll they'll come and they'll find, you know, as they do all that they do, they'll, they'll turn around and talk about sorry. Man, fuck you and you're sorry. Stop doing what you're doing if you're really sorry, but you're not. So that's why I can say fuck you and you're sorry. Man, that tire looks mean. <laughs> so, yeah, you know? This is the shit that they do. Okay? It ain't nothing new. They just try to make themselves feel better. You know? Because that's what religious people do. You know, they believe in a whole bunch of nonsense. Particularly if they believe in karma. And they're doing this shit. They know that shit going to come back to them in their mind. So, you know. That's why they try to absolve themselves from all sorts of blame and responsibility. You know? Unlike us TIs who have been manipulated in a very distinct way you know um i always tell ti's don't ever blame yourself for 
what's happening. This is, is this is a strategic act against you. You know, it doesn't matter the reason. Okay. Yeah, so stop thinking about the reason, but but know that this is a crime perpetrated on you by the broader society and by those within law enforcement and national security, whether it be experimentation or what. And most likely it is experimentation. Okay, because they don't do this for for nothing. It's experimentation, right? Using certain technologies. Okay, so uh, I'm going to uh, see you guys in the next video.